Okay, so I'm back here showing you what three weeks of gunk looks like in the bottom of the horse's trough. It looks nasty, but this is dirt. This is not algae growth. Um, I'm gonna clean it out today, and then we're going to put 160 cc cup full of barley extract. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a 600, I'm at the 600 gallon mark, and that's how full we're gonna make it. This is the barley extract I'm gonna use. This is for ponds, but it is actually beneficial for horses and okay for other animals, any kind of, any kind of animal that you have. So we're gonna put this in here and then all I have to do is fill it up for a couple of weeks. This wouldn't be as dirty if it wasn't under a cedar. And it's also right next to where I keep the horse's mineral salts. So, um, you know, that plus dirt and the wind make it gross. But I'll show you what it looks like after it's all clean and filled. Okay, so here's the barley straw application rates. It's 30 mLs or one fluid ounce. Treats up to 500 gallons. And remember, my stock tank was a 600 gallon tank. Um, this also says to apply it every two weeks, but I have to fill up that water every other or every third day. So um, it's definitely getting more barley straw than um, it would normally. Um, and of course, however much I fill it up, I use this application rate to make sure that I get the proper ratio. And if there's already algae in your water source, the barley straw is not going to get rid of that. It's not gonna kill it. It just stops it from growing um, in the first place. So it's important if you have a large body of water, like we also use it in our large pond here, um, that you use it as directed because it's not gonna stop any algae that's already growing, but it will get rid of new growth. And this pond was horrible this year because of all of the heat that we had. Look, there's the babies. Um, it was horrible because of all the heat that we had, but we finally got it under control. The water looks dark now because I'm using a non-toxic water colorant that turns the water kind of an aqua greenish blue. And so it looks more natural. And, uh, you know, the colorant also helps repel some of that UV along with our um, sunblocker shade. And that, I think, is an 85% UV blockage. But, of course, when the sun is not directly overhead, that doesn't work. So, um, yeah, hopefully this helps. And, yes, I definitely use this in here. And my all of my duckies use this. Um, I don't put it in their natural feeder, their natural waterers, because we change those out every day, sometimes twice a day. There's Cisco in the background. Um, but um, I do use it in the larger bodies of water, including our little tiny pond that we have in the back. And there it is, almost all the way full. I have it on a little bit of an incline, so that way this little drainage, let's see if I can point to it, this little drainage port um, is able to get all of the gunk out when I rinse it out, and it's light enough for me to flip over if I need to by myself, so. Of course, that means when it's empty. <laughs> but, yep, just one of those water storage tanks. We cut off the top part. It originally was the duck's bog, and we had that big pond in there for them. And we repurposed it for the ponds.